Hi, my friend. I was getting ready to go out and just realized that I had not done a video. So I come to you in a casual way this weekend. I pray that you had the best Thanksgiving ever. We did. We uh, decided that we would cook steaks this year. Well, I went to Costco and they had flay mignons, thick flay mignons, two and a half inches thick. I realized driving home I had never cooked a steak like that. And uh, I didn't want to kill anybody with uncooked meat, so I put it on the grill and perhaps I overdid it. They were like little charcoal nuggets by the time I was done. Very crisp, crunchy, good fiber. <laughs> it was it was a Thanksgiving meal to remember, but uh, it, it was a, a lot of laughter too. And that's what it's about with family around the table. And a lot of complaint too, by the way. In Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, it says, It is the Lord your God who goes with you. On some days during this next month, our loved ones, or we ourselves, will be traveling. Perhaps we'll be venturing outdoors in some unusual weather conditions on our way to someone special to see and spend time with during the holidays. As we work, as we play, as we relax, as we travel, let us constantly experience the presence of God as our constant companion. Because we're aware of God's presence wherever we go and in whatever we do, we are focused on what enriches our lives. We listen for and we hear even the slightest whisper of a thought concerning our well-being or the well-being of others. Before we make any travel plans this next month, we first acknowledge that the presence of God goes with us and God goes before us. And what greater experience could any of us have than knowing the presence of God as an all-powerful spirit that accompanies us always? I pray for you during this next month that you have the time of your life with God and with family. God bless you.